Hi guys, I'm Madeline and I work at Florida Atlantic University's Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute in Fort Pierce, Florida. I'm a marine biologist, which means that I study some of the creatures that live in our oceans. For my research, I did work with a species called South American sea lions. The word species refers to a particular type of plant or animal. Did you know that there's more than 1.3 million species that have been identified on our planet? When a biologist encounters a new type of animal, first thing they'll do is conduct some research on it. And then they create a species profile so that they can keep track of which species have been identified and discovered. Some of the different things that we like to learn about are the animal's diet, habitat, and behaviors. Today is your chance to be a marine biologist because I am going to show you how to make species profiles for your favorite ocean animals. Let's get started. First, have an adult help you download and print the species profile activity from the FAU Harbor Branch website. If you don't have a printer, don't worry. You can follow along with me and create your own data sheet using a blank piece of paper. If you plan to create a species profile for multiple animals, make sure you print or have enough papers. So here is my data sheet. The first thing that I'm going to do is write my name at the top because I'm the researcher. I'm going to make a species profile for my favorite animal, the South American sea lion. So I'm going to write that down. In order to fill out the species profile, I'm going to do some research. I have a book called Guide to Marine Mammals of the World that I'm going to use to do my research. You guys can use a book or a reliable source on the internet. The next line is for the scientific name. That's the name that's used by scientists all over the world, no matter what language they speak, to refer to the same species. These names might look a little weird, and that's because they're in a language called Latin. Now, if I look in my book, I can see here that the scientific name for South American sea lions is Oteria flavicens. So I'm going to write that down on my data sheet. Now that I've learned the scientific name for South American sea lions, I'm going to read more about their diet and habitat. Diet refers to what kind of food the animal likes to eat. An animal is an herbivore if they only eat plants and a carnivore if they only eat animals. Some animals like to eat both plants and animals and they're called omnivores. This book says that South American sea lions eat fish and cephalopods, like squids. Since they only eat other animals, that means they are carnivores. So I'll write that information down on my sheet. The next thing I want to figure out is where South American sea lions live. We call this a species habitat or natural home. Some examples of ocean habitats include coral reefs, open ocean, deep ocean, estuaries, salt marshes, and seagrass meadows. Information about a species habitat can also include what temperatures and what areas of the world they like to live in. South American sea lions live in coastal waters around South America. There's even a map in this book that helps to show me where. It looks like my book has some more information, so I'm gonna pick three more facts about South American sea lions that I think are interesting and write those down. Let's see what I have here. A South American sea lion's bark sounds more like a lion's roar than a dog's bark. A sea lion baby is called a pup and males can grow to be more than twice as big as females. Next, I'm going to write why I picked this animal. Well, I picked this animal because I used to work with them, and I think it's awesome that male sea lions have a huge mane that looks like a lion's mane. 
I bet that's how sea lions got the name lion. The last thing to do is draw a picture of my sea lion and color it in. I'm going to use my book for inspiration. How do you guys like my drawing? Now my species profile is complete. Since scientists like to share their data, I'm going to take a picture of what I learned and I'm going to share it with everyone by posting in the comments of this video. Now it's your turn. Once you've completed your species profile, make sure to share it with your family and friends. And you can share it with me too by commenting here or tagging at Harbor Branch. Thank you so much for joining me today and I can't wait to learn about all of your favorite ocean animals. If you want to learn more about marine science, visit us at FAU Harbor Branch. You can take a tour of our visitor center or even go on a boat ride. Check out our website for more information on our outreach programs and their availability.